an iced caramel latte to take away, please. I hope that you're well. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel Backpacking Bananas. I have just arrived in Australia on a brand new trip which is going to be taking me all the way up the east coast from Byron Bay up to Cairns and I'm going to be doing all of the classic backpacker experiences that there are to do along the way. For the first time I actually have a completely organized itinerary for this trip. I know exactly where I'm going to be going, where I'm going to be staying and everything is already booked. It is a completely bespoke itinerary itinerary that was created by Welcome to Travel. So I sat down with them, I told them my time frame, which was 40 days. I told them where I wanted to start, where I wanted to finish, what my travel style was, what my interests were, specific things that I really wanted to do, specific things that I really didn't want to do. And with their expert knowledge of the East Coast, they actually created me this completely personalized itinerary just for me and my me. I was able to review it and of course made any tweaks that I wanted to and then they quite literally went ahead made all the necessary reservations for me and are gonna be just a phone call away to support me up the entire East Coast. It literally doesn't get easier than that and so I feel really relaxed about this trip. I've met people already who are getting stressed about the best accommodations and excursions booking up weeks in advance but I haven't had to worry about that because I've literally just got everything already sorted. If you don't know, Welcome to Travel are a tour company who run tours in both Melbourne and Sydney designed for backpackers or travellers who have just arrived in Australia for the first time, whether on a working holiday visa or just on a tourist visa. And as well as taking you around the cities and getting to tick off some bucket list Australia experiences as soon as you arrive in the country with really cool like-minded people, they also support you for all of your possible needs in Australia whether that's needing an itinerary designed to go up the east coast, whether that's helping you get sorted with a job, helping you get set up with a SIM card, a bank account, a tax file number, accommodation, literally any concerns that you might have when moving to Australia or traveling around Australia, they've got you covered for your entire trip, not just for your one week of the tour. They've actually won several awards for their tours as well and I can vouch for that because I have done both the Melbourne and the Sydney tour and I'll put a link to those vlogs in the description if you want to go back and watch them and if you are considering booking with Welcome to Travel don't forget to use my discount code BB50 which gets you $50 off each tour and I'm very excited to say that Welcome to Travel are actually sponsoring this entire series so do check out their website which I will leave in the description I promise you won't regret it if you are planning your own trip to Australia so in this series I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I get up to on this trip where I am staying what I am doing how much money I'm spending what I'm eating if I'm ever graced with an acoustic version of Wonderwall and that last thing is possibly most likely to happen where I am now because if you can't tell I am in the iconic destination of Byron Bay. I just flew into Gold Coast Airport and got the Byron Easy Shuttle directly from there to Byron Bay uh, which is just a shuttle bus that you can book online. It cost me 50 Aussie dollars and for that they literally dropped me directly at my accommodation which I am about to show you now. I'm staying in Wake Up Hostel in Byron Bay. Wake Up are a really nice hostel chain in Oz. They're always clean and have lots going on. This one is located right on the beach. It's about a 25 minute walk from the main town, but they do have free shuttles which run every hour between the hostel and town if you can't be asked to walk. I'm staying in an eight bed mixed dorm, which at the moment in peak season is costing 68 Aussie dollars per night for a dorm bed, but the dorms are lovely. Well, mine's super messy as always, but everyone has their own shelf, light and plug socket. We also have big lockers which I've unpacked all of my things inside here. We have a shared bathroom right next to our room. Controversially I do actually prefer shared bathrooms to en suites because I find that there is much more likely to have a shower or toilet available when you want it. There is a big shared kitchen and I like that everyone has their own little pantry box as well. I've made a special effort to buy only groceries that don't need to be refrigerated so I can keep everything in here and don't need a space in the always very hectic fridge. There's a really nice big common space in the garden, a volleyball court outside, there's bikes and surfboards that you can rent, activities happening every day and that's about it. Good morning 
everybody. I have my first activity this morning, which is to go kayaking with the dolphins of Byron Bay in the ocean. Very exciting. Now, weirdly, this is actually not the first time I've ever done this activity in this town. <laughs> and something I so distinctly remember from the last time doing this is not the dolphins itself. I don't think we actually saw many, so I'm hoping that we see more today. But it was the fact that when you came back walking with the kayaks, the sand was so unbelievably hot. You had to like walk for like such a long period of time with your kayaks on this scorching hot sand that it just burnt the bottom of everyone's feet. So I bought my water shoes <laughs> to try and avoid that problem this time. I don't know if they even still have that problem. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Maybe they've got some kind of like boardwalk now which helps you from that. Who knows, this was 11 years ago. But I am just walking down to go see and not to go see like it's quite literally called go see kayak byron from the wake up hostel but it's like not in the center of town it's like a half hour walk away it's quite nice though it's quite nice doing this walk in the morning and just like looking at all the houses that you pass by and i just feel like you get to know the place a little bit more it's very common to rent bikes to do this journey uh, which i'm sure i'll do at some point over the next few days but it costs like five dollars an hour and so if you're gonna just go and do something for a few hours and come back, it almost doesn't feel worth it to rent bikes. Anyway, let's go kayaking. Well, hopefully to a cafe first. You did it! I don't have the little GoPro bit that covers the battery of my GoPro and so we're vlogging with the phone which is very very risky in these conditions but we've got a rolling bit. Hopefully this isn't the last we see of the phone. Jingi Wallamies welcome the country uh, from the Arakal tribe in the, uh, in the language of the Arakal people, Bunchlung nations. So Jingi Walla everyone! Jingi Walla! Your tour just got better and better because you say good day to the dolphins. Thank you so much. Yay! Yeah. Right. We're going back now. Looking out the dolphins along the way. That is uh, it's taken us there. And I am being a The yoga tent. There's free yoga every morning at 9 a.m. and I'm going for the one and only time. I'm a little bit hungover, but that's okay. I don't know what this is gonna be like. I've heard mixed reviews about the yoga here. Some people told me that you did the splits in the yoga class the other day, so it might be intense. favorite every yoga session I think the main reason for that was just how busy it was like I was right next to the girl next to me and I could hardly even film that time lapse which I tried to film um, I don't know why they just like kept letting more people in I was like 
is the room not full? But it was a good workout. Like my butt cheeks were sore at some point in that. Like she proper like made our muscles work. So that part of it I did like because I do like making sure that I actually get a decent workout when I go to yoga. Anyway, the rest of the day today has been pretty chill. There's been nothing on the agenda. I'm just with Adam. We met yesterday on the shuttle bus. There's like a free shuttle which takes you between the hostel and the town. So yeah, it's just a chill, beautiful day in Byron. It's been a little bit overcast today, which actually has been perfect in terms of trying not to burn and just it not being too hot. Now, when we went kayaking yesterday, I noticed that the water was like quite clear and I am going diving tomorrow. However, I did want to check out like just what it's like to snorkel here. So what I'm going to try and do is go in the water, head out past these waves until I reach the non-wavy part and see, see what it's like under there. Do we think I'm going to see any fish? I'm not so sure, but you never know. Let's go have a look. so I didn't stay out long because I didn't want to get like dragged out by a rip or something but the water was so clear and I saw a little stingray that was really cool that was the only thing I saw but still a little stingray look at that sunset just got the shuttle into town. Oh, that sunset behind looks beautiful. And we're off to get a chicken parmy because we're in Australia and I haven't had one yet since I've been here. And it so just, we're going the wrong way. no, no, we're not. Oh, it is okay. this way, no, we're I just think. In the abyss. We'll be fine. We did do a little Google search to see where the best chicken parmy in Byron Bay would be. And we are settling on going to a like kind of pub called the Northern. So hopefully it'll be a good one. We're in a lovely spot in the Northern, which we realize is the same as the Great Northern Hotel, which is actually where we were last night. We were in the piano bar, which is super, super fun live music. I didn't get any footage because I didn't have my phone. And we're like, basically like sitting here with a view of the street. They're playing a didgeridoo. So we're listening to a didgeridoo and we got a chicken palmy on the way. If that's not a classic Australian night, I don't know what it is. Thank you. So don't make your heroes because I let you down and um, after meeting Ziggy and um, I actually met him started last year but sometimes people come past me I can see the look in their faces when they just wish that I was Ziggy. <laughs> I'm like sorry. When I met him we had a long conversation about life and what he's doing and, and he's even a better human being than I imagined so I'm super glad I met him but I'm going to play one of his songs. Anyone knows Ziggy Alberts? Hands up if you know Ziggy Alberts. Oh okay. <laughs> Maybe you know what's going to know this song. Anyway, it's one of my favourite songs of his. Guess it is. I know. Yeah man. As I watch as the sun go down, the day lost for now. And I wonder where you woke up this morning. It was just last night and it was a kiss. Just a touch and all your hair. Say, man, it was beautiful. And when you put our hands up to the sky, scream the lyrics loud and all shy. But you put your hand on my neck. But the thing is, she looks like a punk spot. She wears these high top sneakers with a button up. She's so in the way she's. So when I get my phone back, well I've got my phone, I just can't charge it at the moment because the lightning port is wet. I'm gonna check this guy out, his name's David McCready and I love that he just sang Ziggy Alberts because the last time I was in this part of Australia in 2000 and at the end of 2018, I actually saw Ziggy Alberts live in Yamba. And it was so, so good and I'm a big Ziggy Alberts fan and I listen to him a lot. And so that was really, really nice just to see a little tribute here in Byron. That guy was really, really talented. Check him out. I know I will. Good morning, everybody. This is my packing bananas reporting at 5.30 a.m. from 
you absolutely can't see what's behind me. It's the Byron Bay Lighthouse. The hostel runs free sunrise shuttles to the lighthouse every few days and you have to put your name down and like sign up. So I did that when I checked in. It left at 5.15. There's another one that leaves at like 5.35. I got told the 5.15 one was better for some reason. Um, so I'm out here. It's kind of raining and we're hoping sunrise at 6 30 but hopefully it will start getting light in the next 20 minutes hoping to see a good sunrise this morning i don't know if we will though <laughs> The heavens have opened for us just as the sun is rising, of course. and cheese night in the hostel only once a week and as you can imagine it's the busiest I've ever seen this garden because mm. <laughs> backpackers love some free food and wine I mean the wine is good obviously but there's nothing better Good afternoon everybody, it's a new day in Byron Bay and I'm here with Deanna! You may recognise Deanna, I don't know how many videos you've been in, probably some. not some, not many. Deanna is a friend of yeah, <laughs> Deanna is a friend from home um, who is currently living in Sydney and she's just flown over into the Ballina, which is like the Byron Gateway Airport, uh, to come to Byron Bay for a few days, which yeah. is very exciting. So nice to have friends from home as well, because especially when you're yeah, so you don't have to try with them. No, no, it's just it's just like comfort friends, you know. Now we don't really have any plans for the time that Deanna's here, so we're just taking basically a walk around the whole Byron Bay, Bay of Byron, and we've come round to the part that's like near the lighthouse, which is actually the best for like beginner surfer waves. And there's a little lookout there which we're going to go to. We thought that there might be a surfboard rental place here since like it's a very good spot for surfing but we can't find one at least not yet. The hostel does actually rent you free surfboards or you can rent a surfboard for free but the thing is the waves down that part of the beach are hectic and I wouldn't say that they're very good for beginners and so I don't really fancy renting a surfboard for free if I'm just going to get absolutely knocked out. I'd rather come somewhere that's just a bit a bit less hectic, a bit easier, a bit more suitable for beginners. Does it look like there's any surfboard rental places up here? No. no. We might just watch the surfers then. But I want to go to that lookout point. Yeah, I think let's go to the lookout point and then we'll come back yeah. and see if we can find. Venue hire. No, but not surfboard hire. Damn it. So beautiful here and the water is so blue and so clear it looks amazing i know that they're searching for dolphins those kayakers so i reckon the, the dolphins might be around there somewhere
Good morning everyone. As you may be able to hear, it is raining a lot, a lot, a lot. Unfortunately, I was supposed to do a scuba dive in Byron Bay. Um, I was supposed to do it two days ago and every single day it's been re, re like scheduled because of unstable conditions. And it's happened again today and I am leaving today. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna get to do the scuba dive, which is very sad, but alas, these things happen. We can't always rely on the weather. So we're in the Treehouse restaurant, which is actually right next to the hostel. I feel like I've been coming here every single day. Got a smashed avo, as does Diana. And a nice caramel latte on the way. Very excited about this. <laughs> Okay, so my Greyhound bus is here and it's my first ever time actually getting on a Greyhound bus and you can completely tell because I didn't know what happened when the bus turned up and I went to the guy and I was like, oh, do I check in with you? And he was like, yeah. And I was holding my phone with my confirmation in one hand and he stuck his hand out like this as in to take my phone to see the confirmation and I just shook his hand. <laughs> and he was like, no, I'm after your confirmation. Anyway, that was a, a good start to this trip. Or but a good end, well, a very bad end, very embarrassing end to Byron Bay. Thank you to special guest Diana, who's just been here in the past few days. And unfortunately, the weather's just been absolutely shocking for us <laughs> since, since you arrived. We had a really nice brunch yesterday and then it's just been raining. Um, so didn't get to do the dive, didn't get to surf. We're planning on snorkeling, but then that didn't kind of didn't really happen as well. So I guess we're just going to have to come back to Byron Bay yeah. to do that. And we just drank loads of nice coffee. So we did. That was nice. I mean, it's just good to be in Australia, isn't it? So much nice coffee, so much nice food. It's just nice and chilled out actually. And I've already done some shopping, which is what I always say I shouldn't do when I come backpacking, so I don't have room for yeah. it. But we never learn from some mistakes. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next destination, which will be after I've been on this bus in Surfers Paradise. I'll see you then. Bye bye.